All right, all right, all right, all right. Now, ladies, what's cooler than being cool? I, let's cut this. This isn't a good intro. Hello, and welcome to Snack Time Boxing Stuff. And today, as you can see in front of us, we have Japan Crate, the premium edition. As you can see on the side, that is indeed their um, hashtag thing. They're on all these social media things. These are the four steps to enlightenment. And that is their website, which I shall leave in the description below, as always. So, let's dive into it. As always, this is a uh, monthly subscription-based snack box thing filled with snacks from Japan in a crate. Is that a burger? Sorry, but that massive lorry just went by the... What the fudge is... Oh! Ah, it's a burger with... Pizza, dumplings, onions, burger, ice cream, maybe? More pizza, dumplings, and a cup of coffee with leeks. Is that a jalapeno? Okay, um, yeah, it looks like Mr. Japan Crate's doing some um, serving in a cafe or something. And of course, inside is descriptions of the food. But of course, I can't show you that because that will give away the video. So as always, I'm going to dive it, put my hand in, and grab stuff out, including ice stick, lollipop candy. Is, is this Japanese at all? Is this all in English? Ah, wait, there, no, S&M, unfortunate name. Um, yeah, what? Okay. This is all in English. It's lipstick. Yay! Just how I always like it. Do I even need to read the description of this then? This is just a ice lolly thing, assorted fruit flavour. So it's got sorted fruit. This is really weird. Where the hell is the kanji? Ah, there we go. Let's see if it'll focus. There we go. There's the Japanese. Apart from that though, this literally looks like something I'd find in Home Bargain or something, which you look at discount chain in the UK. Anyway, let's take a look at what this is then. This is Ice Stick Lollipop, and apparently Aisu, in uh, Japanese or ice, um, means, well, ice cream, or popsicle. So yeah, it's kind of like a, obviously it's not a popsicle, it's uh, just sugary, like, lollipop thing, but, okay, that's an interesting, ooh, ooh, we've all gone all unfocused, hang on. Hey, there we are, we are back. Let me to pull out the next thing. Which is this. Which way up is this then? It's probably that way, isn't it? There we go. Well. Ooh, I can't quite read that. Wait, is this the right way? Yeah, it is. Okay, because that's Suto. Ah, Mon Morinaga. These feel like little hard gummy thing. Ah, wait, I know what these are. Ooh, I think these are snapped quite a bit in uh, the mail. So yeah, these are like these long stick things that are like chewy. They're hard, but they've got a kind of a gummy centre, I believe. Or some Pokemon ones years ago. And uh, this is grape flavour, I presume. No, okay, I can't quite read that. Anyway, let's check out what this thing is then. These are Koida Purple Potato. And um, yeah, apparently Purple Sweet Potato is well known in Japan as being a specialty. And yeah, these are like sweet potato chocolates. Okay, admittedly not what I thought they'd be, but you know, I'm, I'm up for trying that. Very interesting. Okay then, well, we're off to a very unexpected start. Ooh, these feel like tablets. What? What the... One... Um... Oh, oh, it's a truck. Hey, and it's got... Smarties on it, maybe. That sounds like a tablet container. This is really weird. Um, yeah. Okay, so it's a, it's a truck with some chocolate things. I, I'm not really seeing the significance of the truck here. What, what the hell is this? This is Transportation Land Chocolate. Uh, Japan is crazy for transportation, so they put some chocolates with it. The most fun is popping each one out, like, individually and eating them. Man, this would take you 30 seconds to eat all of them. But, hey, I appreciate the quirkiness of it. Ooh. Ooh, Amiibo. 
Hello. What are you doing here? Is that a bowl of curry? Ooh. Curry flavoured something? Ka! Karu! Ka! Karu you! Karu you! Choco! Oh, choco! Chocolate? What? Oh, is that? <laughs> oh, that's chocolate! Hmm, okay. Ooh, this feels very really fluffy actually. That's weird. My ball is usually like a hard corn stick. It's like a puff, you know, piece of puffed corn or whatever. But this is like soft and biscuity. Hmm, okay. Let's have a look at what this is then. All right, this is chocolate umai bowl, and um, it, uh, it comes in a different form this time. It's uh, bite-sized wafer puffs that ooze delicious chocolate cream. Well, I'm a big fan of umai bowl, so I'm up for trying that. Uh, yeah, very, <laughs> very interesting. All right then, let's... Oh, this feels like a fruit roll. No, it doesn't. Oh, 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 yo, okay. Oh, yo, is this a... Um... Oh, not quite where I thought. So years ago when I was little, um, I used to buy packs of like a burger, but it was like all jelly sweet stuff and you like assembled it yourself. Although it's kind of similar, it's like, I don't know, it's like he's stacking several pancakes maybe, because he's like a fast food guy as you can tell. Um, good taste. Well, I'm glad there's, this is not a bad taste. Uh, what is that? Hunger gum. Burger gum. Oh, is that burger gum, maybe? Right. Okay, maybe this is a burger thing then. It just doesn't quite look like the one I used to have when I was younger. Let's see what the F this is. This is hamburger gummy. It's a gummy hamburger form, basically. Um, yeah, very, very cute. Uh, th there's lots of, like, weird, weird gummy... Uh, summary kind of things going on with the snacks so far, I've noticed. Uh, ooh, and talking about summary stuff, we've got a... Ooh, ooh, is that, what, is that peach? I can't tell what that is. I mean, I, I can feel what these are, and these aren't these, if that makes sense. They're like ribbons of sugar. Um, I'm going to go on a limb and guess these are peach flavour. But, I don't know, that looks a bit like... Sliced banana. Hmm. Okay, very interesting. Yeah, still no real hint. What is this say? Bourbon. A taste of Jack Daniels. Right. Ah, that's a peach there. Right, okay, I'm gonna go on a limb and say this is peach then. Did I say Italian is this Italian peach? Italian peachy. Peachy. Maybe Italian peach? I don't know. Let's let's have a look. This is fettuccine white peach gummy. And um, yeah, they're apparently the flavour of Italian white peach. And they're known for like sweet and tangy. Wow. Oh, hey, my katakana reading abilities are coming on decently sort of well-ish. Uh, ooh. 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 Uh, right, okay, I'll stop ooing now. Are they... Right, so... Are these eye things? Obviously, these are eye mask things. But, is this gum I feel in the middle? Is this like a chewing gum thing? Yeah, so that's clearly something you put on your face. Although, it's made for a child, so I don't know if it's going to work on me, if I'm honest. Um, alright. Yeah. Uh, right, let's see. So this will definitely be one of the things I'll eat or open on this video. Um, also, more to come for that at the end of the video, so stay tuned. But I will be doing a separate monthly review thing for some of the snacks, I think. Uh, right, let's check out what the hell this is then. This is Transformation, Cla Transformation Glass Card Gum. And, um, yeah, it's a pack of gum that you can fool your friends with because you can hold it up in front of your eyes and it'll make you look like an anime character. Unfortunately, I don't think this is going to make me look like an anime character, but I'm going to keep this to the side. Uh, once we've looked at all this, I'm going to open this up because that is thoroughly interesting. Let's grab the neck. This feels like a DIY kit. Because it is. I th Ooh. 
That's not the best looking um, preview, I'll be honest. What the fudge is going on here? So you... I know, right. So you put the the chocolate and the powder there. You make your... Um, uh, what you call it? The, the marshmallow-esque thing that the Japanese love. Then you mix it all together and it looks like an egg or something, maybe? Well, this is an interesting one. It's like, yeah, chocolate pancake thing. It looks alright. Admittedly, it doesn't really look like it turns out to be anything in particular. Like, you know, sometimes like, hey, eat a dolphin with sugar on its head or something. This just looks like, eat some, uh, you know, gummy stuff with chocolate and sprinkles. Which is fine, because that's ultimately what all of these are. <laughs> right, let's see what this is then. This is Chocolate Kinako Mochi DIY, and mochi is what I was looking for. There's that kind of, kind of marshmallow -y stuff, but it is very different as well. And yeah, from the um, reading of the description, basically you just like wet the mochi, um, the mochi discs a bit and just dip them into the rest of it, which is fine. It's very basic, but like, I kind of prefer that. I'll, I'll be honest with you, because some DIY kits I've had a nightmare with. Yo! Holy shit! Okay, this is cool! Ho <laughs> ho! Oh, I don't know what that means. Something... So this is Dragon Ball, obviously, Dragon Ball Super. Well, this is after the Brawly movie, obviously, because um, we got Super Saiyan God Vegeta there. He only appears in that. Dude, this is pretty darn cool. And of course there's Brawly and Goku as well. What even is this? I mean, it's a, so it feels like a wafer. Um, there we are, we can see there. It's probably got red bean jam in it and stuff. Does this come with like a card or something? That would be cool. Like 24 cards to collect or something? Oh, yo. Um, yeah, damn. This is cool. Um, yeah, there we are. 12, 14... Oh, Roadshow. Oh, right, okay. And there's... Okay, I don't actually think it is cards or whatever, but hey! Man, the packaging alone is pretty darn cool. I may actually keep this packaging. I know that sounds very sad. Anyway, let's find out what this is. Alright, this is Dragon Ball Chocolate. And uh, yeah, it's a yummy wafer sandwich of chocolate cream. But wait! There's a Dragon Ball stick inside each pack. And as we can see here, there are different pack designs. Because that's got the Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan, or blue. And Beerus, I think. I can't quite tell through my uh, viewfinder. So yeah, so... um. This, I think, I may keep, if it wants to focus. As I was saying, this I may actually keep uh, for my snack review thing uh, in a week or two that I'm going to try and compile between, um, not all just the snacks, but snacks from my previous boxes as well, because I do have my last two boxes I haven't finished yet. Because I don't eat snacks every day, really. Um, this is going to be really like Ooh, no, it's not. Yo, is this Love Live? I think this is Love Live? Ooh, I don't know, actually. That's not looking like the Love Live text. Is this a pre-cure, maybe? The Magical Girl thing? It's, I mean, she's a magical girl, obviously. This is gum, by the way, obviously. They like giving us a pack of gum each month, which I really appreciate. Because they're just, like, cute bits of gum. But yeah, this is some kind of Magical Girl show. I'm just guessing pre-cure, because it's one of the only ones I know they're still airing. Right, let's see what this is then. So this is Star Precure Gum, and indeed this is based on uh, Star Twinkle Precure, which is a popular anime series full of cuteness and magic. That's right, boys. I knew, th I, from a glance, knew the anime filled with cute little girls transforming. Jesus Christ, what am I doing with my life? Right, next up is Pringles, I think. Ooh, yes it is. Ooh, ooh is that a witch? If that's a witch, they're a bit early. What? Okay, there's a lot to take in here. Okay, that's not a witch, I presume. Ah, oh, it's got like a violin or something, right? And an onion with maracas. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. Oh, that's a... Um, that's like a, a jalapeno with a guitar. And then the Pringle is carrying a walking stick. Uh, let's see. Hana, peco and onion. Hana, peco and onion. Obviously that's onion. Is that habanero? That, that's that's na though, isn't it? Okay, I, I really like the um, design. 
Like, it's just fucking weird. Right, let's see, what is this? Alright, this is jalapeno and onion Pringles. And yeah, so I thought it was jalapeno, I just read it wrong or something. But yeah, so um, basically it's Pringles, but obviously with a weird Japanese uh, flavour. Ah, there we are, we got the top there, habanero and jalapeno, sorry, and onion. Very nice. Um, I had the yakisoba Pringles recently. Uh, this will be another thing for the review, I think, for sure. I'm probably not going to review all of these foods, just because, like, uh, you know, there's a... Oh, yo! There's a lot, um, you know, but I'll, I'll try and focus on, like, the cool things. Let me know in the comments, actually, if there's anything I come across that you guys really want me to see... Uh, want to see me open, and I'll definitely make sure to, like, specifically pick those. Yo, okay, then? Is this a, a Pokemon chocolate egg? Uh, ooh, and does that mean there's... Is there, like, something inside? Yo, if there's a... Ooh, shit, son, I think there may be a figure or something. Ah, and it's to... It's because Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. It's got the Sun and Moon mid things. There's, like, Torracat. Uh, I can't remember the other two. He's cool. I really like him. Um, yo. Because it, it's got quite a weight to it. It feels like circular, circular inside, so it's probably a chocolate egg. I can't quite make out what's there, see? But it looks like chocolate, and yeah. Is there a figure inside? If there's a figure inside, I'm going to lose my shit. This is chocolate egg Pokemon. And indeed, each egg has a figure inside. So this is the bonus item of the crit. All right. This is the best bonus item we've had. We've had two bags of, like, Kit Kat, which are lovely and stuff, but... Uh, Gosh damn, am I excited. Uh, I can't really be asked to read all of those, but there's like, there's 18 to collect. As so long as I don't get an Eevee, I'm happy. Not because I dislike Eevee, but if you've watched any of my Gacha Gacha Crate videos, every time there's like a blind box Pokemon figure, I always get the Eevee. Like, I've got about three or four of them now, and like, it's like, eh. I like Eevee, but it's a bit of a plain Pokemon. You know what's not plain though? Hello Kitty driving a car. Why has it got sunglasses? Uh, where does it attach his ribbon as well? Does it tie around his ear? I don't know. But this is Bake or Bake. Um, I'm assuming it's meant to say Bake. Win a road trip with Hello Kitty. Actually, that's probably not what it says. But yeah, these are like little biscuity things, I presume. And I'm going to go on a limb and say this is matcha flavour. Just by like looking at it, and obviously they're that shaped, I can kind of feel them. Crispy little biscuit things. Let's see exactly what this is. These are Bake Matcha or Bake Matcha, I'm still not sure. But yeah, they're um, chocolate, but they're roasted on the outside so they don't leave like a sticky residue. And obviously they're matcha flavour. It's actually quite cool. I think um, a few crates ago there was something like that. It was like chocolate, but it didn't melt or something, and it actually did what it promised, which is quite rare, to be honest. Oh, we've got... I'm already going to go on a limb and say this is a cider bottle, um, because in Japan, cider is just an apple drink. It's like a fizzy apple drink. Aparu soda. Oh, that's soda, sorry. Aparu soda. So, apple soda, or cider, as they sometimes call it. Um, yeah, it's like a bit of gummy. It's kind of in the shape of the bottle. You can't see the neck under there. Yeah, let's have a look. This is indeed apple soda gummy and is exactly as I just described it. It's apple flavour. It's gummy. It's in the shape of a bottle. What else do you need? Well, I'd like some strong. Oh, yo, I remember having strong before. Ooh, this is some kind of broth flavour, is it? This is garlic butter, I believe. Garlic ubata. All right then, strong garlic flavour. If you don't like garlic, you are sure as shit not going to like this. I believe I had strong before, there was like, um, cheese flavour or something, and that, man, that was a strong cheese flavour. Appropriate, I know. So yeah, this is garlic butter, I believe. Let's double check that I read that correct. This is indeed strong garlic butter, and is, um, yeah, garlic butter flavoured uh, potato chips and stuff. It's meant to be very flavourful and stuff. A little bit like, if you live in the UK, you'll know what McCoy's are. They're like ridge cut um, crisps. They have a very strong flavour and they're just the same. Ooh, is this uh, Bear March or something? 
Koala March, sorry, Koala Marchi. There we are. Ooh, milk. Is this just milk flavour? Um, let's have a look at the side first. Oh, there's a little koala and it's baby koala. There's more. Um, oh, I see, it's that cake thing, isn't it? It's like um, cream or something, probably, then, isn't it? All right, let's see if I can read this, then. Puri no... Ni, puri non... Grimu. I think. Uh, primon... I don't know what primon is, but it's something cream. Which is obvious, because it looks like cream. Let's find out exactly what this cream is. All right, this is Koala March Cream Pudding, and has a custard pudding inside, apparently. They're all, like, shaped in biscuit things that make them look like koalas. Uh, this is another thing I shall be reviewing for sure. Um, I'll make a small list and stuff um, to the side, or as I'm editing this video, so remember, future me, what to do. We have two items left. One of these last it. <laughs> I said Pizza Hut for a second, it's like, yo. Still though, Pizza LA, Japan standard. Nothing beats authentic Japanese pizza. Ooh, yo, that's a nice picture. And these are basically pizza Doritos, I imagine. Very nice. Um, yeah, I, I don't even think, ah, this is by Frito-Lay, that's cool. And yeah, if we look on the back, same thing. So. I don't know if Pizza La is a pizza restaurant in Japan, maybe? That's like partnered up with Frito-Lay? Or maybe this is Frito-Lay's own crisp series called Pizza La or something. Because like, the corn chip things are in the shape of pizza slices, I suppose. Um, yeah, alright, cool. Let's check what this is then. This is Pizza La Italian Chips. And um, yeah, I guess right, It was it's a Japanese um, pizza chain, basically. And they've released this exclusive Italian pizza flavour chip. Now, I don't mean to be nitpicky here, but what's the difference between Italian pizza flavour and pizza pizza flavour? Uh, well, let me know in the comments below. And the last thing... Oh, it's... <laughs> I was just about to be like, hmm, I wonder if this is coffee. Coffee jelly. It sounds just like coffee coffee, to be honest. Okay, jelly. Um, yeah, well, it's a metal can. I quite like these. Uh, oh, it's got a weird bottom to it a bit. Yeah, okay. A, a coffee drink. Fair enough, I suppose. Yeah, right, okay, cool. I, again, I don't think this is something we'll need to read much of a description of, because it kind of tells me already. I wonder what the hell the jelly's about, though. That's interesting. This is Jalit's Coffee Jelly Drink. Do you like coffee? Do you like jelly? Why not mix the two together? Thank you, Japan. That is, that is my sentiments exactly. Well done, whoever edits these. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, apparently there's like two layers of jelly or something. And it's a coffee drink. Uh, hey, interesting combo, to be fair. I like jelly. I... I don't know. I don't really drink coffee. I drink more coffee-flavoured things than I drink coffee, if that makes sense. Now, I'm just going to have a quick delve into the box. There is indeed nothing left. I I grab at the corners because I've passed up bits of gum before. Right. Okay, so, um, as promised, I'm going to crack into this at the end of the video. Um, but first, I'm going to arrange everything. I'm going to quickly look at that booklet to see if there's anything interesting there. Give a wrap up, and I'll try this on. Oh, I'll open it first. Uh, right, be back. All right, so in the What's Happening Japan thing, it does mention the two um, events this month, which is Aomatsuri, which is um, people parade uh, through the city of um, Kyoto in like traditional clothing and stuff. Um, you've probably seen this kind of outfit before. It dates back to the 6th century, apparently, so that's old, you know. And then there's Sanja Matsuri, which is when they parade um, three sort of like... Uh, where is it? Portable shrines are taken through the Asakusa area of um, of Tokyo to celebrate the foundation of the Sensoji Temple. I don't know anything about that, I'm afraid. And the phrases this month. There is, of course, Haru, which means spring. There's uh, Kyowa-i Tenki Desune, 
which is it's nice we nice weather today, isn't it? And Sugina Kisetsu Wanan Deska, which means what's your favourite season? Sorry, probably butchered the delivery there. Um, yeah, and that's about it. And of course, they show off that massive Sagoi crate you can get with like. If you're randomly selected or something, you get like all this awesome stuff. Admittedly, this month, not as jealous of much. Uh, I mean, that Goku statue, Nintendo Switch, but I already have one. Um, a Popper Pirate Hello Kitty thing, a very, very cute Pikachu, another Hello Kitty thing. Uh, like, yeah. Um, I mean, hey, you know, if, if you like your cute things, and of course, they do have a store um, as well. You can check out on the website, which I've hopefully linked in the description below. Anyway, I'm going to arrange these in a nice pattern thing, give my verdict on it, and then we will do the fabled eye shield thing, and I'll tell you about the upcoming review video things. Alright then, I'm back, I've assembled everything, and honestly, after putting everything uh, back in the box and stuff, I did realise this may be one of the strongest months I think we've had, because the potato chips are pretty cool. Also, shout out to Japan Crate. So the last, um, well, couple months ago, and I think a few people commented as well, um, I did notice that Japan Crate was almost exclusively sweet stuff, which, like, it was nice, but I found that it took me quite a long time to get through the box, just because, well, I wasn't going to eat, like, five chocolates in one day or something. But now they've actually added variety. They've started doing Pringle stuff, potato chips. Keep that up, Japan Great. If any of you guys are watching this video, you're probably not. There's bigger channels out there. But, regardless, this has been a really good crate, actually. Like, a ton of really weird stuff, but, like, stuff I'm really looking forward to trying and stuff. Um, yeah, and a nice variety of gummy stuff as well. Sorry, I've said stuff an incredible amount of times now, but... Yeah, um, I like chocolate, I really like gummy things, so it's a massive improvement there. So yeah, overall, one of the strongest th uh, months we've had, I think. Also, that Pokemon egg, I am incredibly hyped to open. I know it's going to be a tiny little toy, it's probably not going to be very good quality, but hey. Anyway, before I do open up this thing to end the video, um, as I mentioned previously and kind of described throughout the video, I do plan, um, in a week or two after this one goes up, to do a little review video, I say little, it's probably going to be as long as this actually, where I try the different um, snacks and stuff. I'll probably do the DIY kit, because that's quite an interesting one. I'll do the ones I listed, um, and I'll do a few probably from the previous crate as well, because I haven't eaten anything from last month, and I'm only halfway through the months before. So I've got a couple of things to do. I'll probably do like 10, 12 snacks per video or something. I may even put two up. I don't know. Um, they take a little longer to film, but hopefully, you know, they'll be just as fun as this one. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's see what the fudge this is. Um, so that's the thing. I don't think the eye mask thing is going to work very well because my head is wider than this by a mile. I think my eyes, like the length between them, is wider than that. Oh, right, got the gum. Uh, hang on, wait. That's the, <laughs> that's the gum. E, nice and... Oh my god, that's so strong, the smell. Um, it's Ramune, or like, lemonade kind of stuff flavour. Right, well, I'm going to crack this open and have a chew, I think, while I prepare myself for the eye mask. Uh, ooh, ooh, it's already... To oh my god, this is so dry. That's weird. Okay then. Right, well, I'm going to put this in my mouth. Right, it's hard to describe. Um, it was very, like, it crumbled very easily in my mouth, but then when you kind of start chewing and stuff, it kind of comes together in a weird... It's not as strong as regular chewing gum. You'd buy, like, Wrigley's or something. It's all very, like... It's quite thin, if that makes sense, but it's definitely chewing gum. Anyway... Oh, that's terrifying. <laughs> um, why are you there? Ah, oh, see, so <laughs> do you provide the string yourself? Because, like, there's weird things there. They kind of, like, fold out, you know, like the plastic, see? Um, and obviously, th there's no, this is just clear plastic. Right, well, I'm going to... I don't know how I'm going to do this now, because, um... 
I don't know, I, I'm gonna go and try, I'll take a selfie of myself in the bathroom because I'm a 12 year old millennial girl. Um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. I don't think this is gonna fit. I think my eyes are wider apart than this, but I don't know. Anyway, I'll be right back. All right, so this is this is what happened. That That is cursed. I feel uncomfortable looking at that and that's me. I know what I look like. I'm used to it, I have to live with that. Well, um, <laughs> so yeah, as, as I mentioned, this is not the dimensions of my face. My eyes are further apart than this. Obviously it's made for children. I, I don't begrudge them for that. That's fine. But, you know, it, it's an interesting one. And honestly, like, you know, another thing, hey, Japan Crate employees, if you're listening, throw some stuff like this in. You know, like, the weird, weird sticker things, or like the Dragon Ball thing, that's, that's the way to go, you know? Because snacks are great and all, but quite a few of these snacks, especially the smaller ones, like, this is, um, you know, like a gummy piece of grape uh, stuff, and it's like, oh, yeah, that, that was alright. Whereas, you know, if there's a weird gimmick to it, like a sticker or something, they're a bit more fun. Um... You know, admittedly though, I don't know, It it's good value. I think, you know, they're doing pretty well, especially with the potato chip things. Anyway, I've rambled on long enough. Keep an eye out for my reviews of the snacks coming up soon-ish, hopefully, unless something goes wrong. Goodbye.